Hey, loser. What? I'm assuming that was for a task. What number are you on? I just got into the 90s. Haven't you heard? The last 10 tasks are impossible. I'm sure I'll be fine. Slap someone? Too easy. Hey girl, can I ask you a favor? Yeah, sure. What the heck? Sorry. No, you're good. Just remember you owe me one. Hey Giselle, have you heard about Brandon? No. His 95th task was to break someone's arm. And he did that for some money? Yeah, he did. But the thing that scares me is the whole school is going into the 90s now. Things are going to get crazy. Stab someone? There's no way I'm doing that. Hey, Giselle. Jess, hey. Remember I said you owe me one? Stab someone? <laughs> There's no way I'm doing that. Hey, Giselle. Jess, hey. Remember I said you owe me one? What is it? I need to flick your forehead for a task. <sighs> Thank gosh. I thought you would have to, like, break my arm or something. Relax, I'm not even in the 90s yet. I do have to tell you something important, though. What's up? I can't tell you here. We have to go somewhere private. Okay, maybe I can tell you here. Jessica, you're scaring me. Just tell me. A group of guys are working together on the tasks to split the cash. Oh my gosh, there they are. What do we do? Run, we have to hide. We have to protect ourselves. Here, take this. Scissors? You never know what's going to happen. You guys really thought you could hide from me? What do I do? Giselle, do anything, quickly. I just stabbed him. You two really thought you could hide from me? Jessica, what do I do? Giselle, do anything, quickly. No, I just stabbed him. It's okay, let's just get out of here, it's not safe. Okay, Giselle, what's your next task? My next task is to kill someone. And it's already been checked off. Wait, did I kill him back there? I mean, you probably did. Come on, let's go. Okay, I think we can stay in this room for a bit. How are you so calm about this? There's something you don't know. I've tried to complete the hundred tasks before. You mean you've done this before? Yes, but I failed, so now I'm going to help you. What's your next task? To shoot someone. Okay, here, take this. How do you have a gun? Because I already knew this was going to be the next task. We have to leave, they found us. We're not going to be able to outrun them, you have to shoot them. Giselle, do it. We're not going to be able to outrun them, you have to shoot them. Giselle, what are you waiting for? Do it. I just shot someone. Okay, come on, we have to get out of here. No, I can't believe I just did that. Snap out of it and stay calm. What's your next task? Next task is to break someone's arm. Okay, come on, let's go. What are you doing? Please don't hurt me. I can't. The longer you take, the more painful it's going to be. Just do it. Come on, Giselle, you have to finish this. I'm on the last task. This is almost over. I mean, it's not quite over yet. Check the last task. What are you doing? Put the gun down. You thought you were going to win? Jessica, how could you? Share the same hair or share the same clothes as my soulmate? I didn't spend two years growing this hair out for it to get ruined. We'll share clothes. Let's hope this prince soulmate of mine has some style. Soulmate's clothes on. A prince would never wear this? Is my soulmate some sort of a lumberjack? Or worse, what if he's a peasant? What are you wearing? I hate to inform you of this, mother, but these are my soulmate's clothes. Is your soulmate a peasant? Possibly. Absolutely not. You are forbidden to meet this boy. Yes, mother. I need to go out. I can't be seen in this. Why isn't it coming off? You may not remove his outfit. Great. Mother said never to go anywhere without my crown, but today, I can't let anyone know I'm a princess. I really hope I don't get recognized. Oh, shit. I'm so sorry. I swear, I didn't mean to- You have the same outfit as- Me. You're wearing my same clothes, so we must be- Shh, Someone could hear you. I can't have people knowing my soulmate is- A peasant. Who do you think you are? Look at me. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Really look at me. 
Uh, okay. Ow! I am the princess, you idiot! Wait, you are? Yes, and I have a ball to go to tonight, and I am stuck in your dumb clothes. I need you to do me a favor. Okay, I'm back, and I need you to wear this. You want me to wear a dress? That's not happening. But you have to. I can only wear what you wear. Please. It's not my fault you picked... Hey, come on, don't cry. <sighs> All right, fine, princess. I'll do it. Okay, thank you. Soulmates clothes changing. Peasant, it worked. My name is Nick, and I can't zip this up. <laughs> Has anyone seen my daughter? My mom's coming. My mom's coming. Go hide in that alleyway. Ugh. Hello, mother. I've been looking for you. How are you wearing that dress? What are you talking about? You can only wear what your soulmate wears. Did you disobey me and speak to him? Mother, I would never directly disobey you. The system just had a glitch, and now it looks like I don't have to wear my soulmate's clothes anymore. Okay, then you better be at the ball tonight, and stand up straight. Of course, Mother. She seems nice. Yeah, she's, uh, she's something. Listen, Princess, I can barely breathe in this dress. I just need 30 minutes to make an appearance, then I'll tell my mom that I feel sick and I'll be out of there. There's a lot of princes at the ball. I can see that. Since you're forbidden to talk to your soulmate, why don't you talk to one of them, honey? Just because you and Dad didn't work out doesn't mean that me and my soulmate won't. Excuse me? Go to your room. Fine. Perfect timing, actually. What was that? Nothing. I have to get back to him before he starts ripping this- Soulmate's clothes come- I have to get back to him before he starts ripping this- Soulmate's clothes coming off. Dress. Psst, Nick, you can take this off now, and quickly, because there is a giant hole in the back. Okay, but you realize it's night now. Yeah, and? And I like to sleep shirtless. Okay, well, you can't do that, because that means I would have to sleep without a shirt. <laughs> well, I made a sacrifice for you today, so maybe- Oh! You know what? Just for that comment, you are going to be wearing this robe tonight. Are you serious? Yeah, go change. Hey! <sighs> the things I do for you. Soulmate changing clothes. Much better. How long am I going to have to keep wearing your clothes? I don't know. As soon as this soulmate thing wears off, I guess. Well, then there's something about me you need to know, princess. There's something about me you need to know. Wait, before you tell me, I just want to say I really appreciate you wearing my clothes for me, and I don't care if you're a commoner. I... I want to be with you. Princess, the queen has been looking for you. I was just... Enough! You're coming with us. Good morning. Mother, about last night... Don't worry about it, honey. I've taken care of everything. You no longer need to wear your soulmate's clothes. Look. What did you do? Well, since the king is in charge of the system, I made a deal with him for you to marry his son. Well, that's ridiculous, and I'm not agreeing to that. Honey, the deal has already been made. The prince is on his way. What? It had to be done. No. Yes, you certainly won't be marrying your peasant soulmate. I present to you your fiancé. Hello, princess. But I... Thought that I was a peasant? I only dress like that because I don't like to get recognized. I'm sorry. It's alright. I wanted to tell you, but I'm glad to see that you love me for me. And I love you. Uh, Mom? Yeah, honey? What's this? The Queen Bee Contest. Get a hundred secrets, get a million dollars. I didn't enter into a contest. I know. I entered you. What? Why? Because you're always telling me you're so good at your DX games. I thought you could win this for our family. First of all, it's DS. And second of all, this isn't a Nintendo game, Mom. This is my life. I know, and I hope you win for us. I already have 59 secrets. You're so going to win. Hey, Brittany. Wanna exchange secrets? Oh my god, you're playing too? Yeah, so wanna trade? A secret for a secret. Okay, let's do it. You go first. I pretended to have my period to skip class yesterday. Ooh, juicy. Your turn. I have never ate a melon before. Really? Yeah. Oh, Jess, I don't think that's a secret. My count didn't go up. Oh, bummer. I think this is actually gonna work. Hey, Kendall. Hey, Jared. Stop, Jess. Brittany told us what you're doing. Wink, tattletale. You're tricking them into telling you a secret. Well, it's working, so... Well, it's cheating, so we're gonna tell everyone what you're doing. Hey, Charlie. I'm not gonna tell you a secret, Jess. I wasn't gonna ask you about that anyways. Really? Then what did you want, Jess? Your fly's undone. It is? No, it's not. Made you look. I think I need a new strategy. Hey, guys. You tricked us and we're mad at you. Go sit somewhere else. Hey, Piper, could I sit here? You know my name? Are you kidding? Everyone knows your name. You're super smart. Thanks. Yeah, you can sit here. 
Hey Jess, can I tell you a secret? Sure. Ryan has a fat crush on you. How do you know that? Because he's my brother. Shut up. Yep, and I bet you could use him to win. Hey Ryan. Oh, uh, hey, hi. Uh, Would you want to help me with my homework after school today? Yeah, definitely. Wait, you're doing the contest thing too? Yeah. Then I have a secret for you. Really? It's a good one. Hey Jess, Ryan said you were in the contest. We have a secret for you. I'm listening. Dang, I actually might win this thing. Jess and Martha, please make your way to the auditorium. Jess. Martha. May the queen bee win. Thanks, I think I will. No, you won't. You can't. Why not? Because I have to. You have to? Yes, because my parents are broke and if I don't win, we'll lose the house. Wait, what happened? I think you just told me your secret. No, 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 this can't be happening. All right, well that was easy and the winner of the queen bee competition is Jess. I would just like to thank my family and split the prize fund with Martha. Wait, really? I mean, I kind of have to, you made me win. Well, I'm allergic to cats, so guess I'll have to have a twin of myself. Hi. Hi, can I come in? Yeah, come on in. My mom wants me to go do the dishes. I'll be right back, okay? No, no, I can do them for you. For real? Totally, your mom will just think I'm you. Just stay here and I'll be right back. Okay, well, thanks. Maybe having a twin isn't so bad. Bye, babe, talk to you later. Was that your boyfriend? Yeah. Can I see a picture of him? Uh, yeah, sure. Here, this is him. Aw, oh, he's so cute. I know, right? Damn it. What's wrong? I just realized I have a history test today. I didn't even study. Oh, I could take it for you. I'm great at history. Wait, you are? Yeah, I totally got this. I'm just like you, you know, but I'm just a little bit smarter. How'd it go? Well, I got you a 100%. No way. Yep, but I gotta go. I'm gonna go meet your friend Amy and we're gonna go get her nails done. Wait, what? Is something wrong? Well, it's just Amy's my best friend. Oh, I know, but she thinks that I'm you, and I just thought since I took your test, I could have some time to relax, but if you don't want me to go... No, go ahead. You deserve a break. Hey, sorry I took so long. We went out to dinner after. You did? Yeah, Amy is such a sweetheart. Yeah, she really is. Oh, where are you off to dress all fancy like that? I am going on a little date with Ian. You sure you don't need me to take your place? No, that's okay. I'm just kidding with you. Go have fun. Hey girl, how'd it go? It was so nice. He... Why are you looking at my laptop? Oh, I was just looking at some pictures of you and your boyfriend, and I was reading through your diary. I did not know you struggled with anxiety. Hey, that's private. I just thought since I'm your twin, I should know more about you. Get out of my room. After all I did for her, and she's gonna yell at me like that? I don't think so. I just want to say I'm sorry for looking at your laptop. I shouldn't have done that. Don't even worry about it. I shouldn't have got so upset at you either. It's totally fine. I forgive you. Are you going on another date? Yeah, Ian's gonna take me to go see a movie. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. I love that for you guys. Hey, um, I grabbed this out of the fridge. I didn't really like it. Do you want it? Actually, this one's my favorite, so thanks. You ready to go? <sighs> Whoa. Oh, what's wrong? I don't know. My head just feels really weird. Oh, honey, you need to lay down. <sighs> That's it. Just relax. Hey, can you hear me? Hello? Perfect. I'm doing your boyfriend a favor. He's gonna have so much more fun with me than he would have with you. <sighs> she stole my phone and she locked all the doors. I knew I should have gotten that cat. Hey there, sleepyhead. Did you enjoy your little nap? Where's Ian? Oh, he just left. We had an amazing time. He even said that I'm a great kisser. You kissed him? Well, more like he kissed me, but... <laughs> you really should have done that. Give me back my phone. No, I don't think I will. Remember when I told you that I was smarter than you? Well, guess what? I'm also stronger than you, too. So which dress do you think Ian will like better? This one? Or, hold on, do you think he'll like this one better? I think you're right. I think he's gonna like the first one better. Well, thanks for the help, but um, you probably won't last too much longer in here. I found out in your diary that you're hypoglycemic. 
What is more useful when it is broken? It's an egg. It has to be an egg. No way. It's a glow stick. Say glow stick. So which is it? An egg. A glow stick. If I don't get this right, I'm going to die. The final decision is yours to make. An egg. Correct answer. An egg. Mom, I'm home. No, I got a riddle. You need to read it out loud. What is always in front of you but can't be seen? Right in front of you, but you can't see it. Air, it has to be air. It's always right in front of you, but nobody can see it. The answer, air. Incorrect. Correct answer, the future. Mommy's gone. I, I really thought I was right. <laughs> I got a riddle again. What can fly but has no wings? I, I don't know. I don't want to be wrong again. Please help. I can only live if there's light, but I die if a light shines on me. A shadow! A shadow! Correct answer, a shadow. <sighs> Bye, Mom. I'm off to school. Sissy, I got a riddle. Hurry, read it to me. What can run but can't walk? A turkey? No, don't say turkey. Final answer. It's a river. It's a river. Are you sure? I think so. A river. Correct answer, a river. Oh, no. I just got a riddle. Hurry, read it out loud. We can all help you. What has 21 eyes but can't see? 21 eyes but can't see. Come on, give him suggestions. I don't know. I know the answer. It's 10 and a half blind people. Incorrect. Correct answer, a dice. Oh no, I got another riddle. What can fly but has no wings? I, I, I don't know. I don't want to be wrong again. Please help. Final answer. A ghost. Say ghost. Okay. No. Go it's time. Are you sure? Yes. The answer is time. Correct answer, time. I hate this game. I don't want to play. Sissy, you need to be strong, okay? Quitting isn't an option. I just got a riddle. What is always spelt wrong? That's an easy one. The answer is wrong. Wrong is always spelt wrong. Wrong? No, it can't be that simple. But what if it is? The answer is wrong. Correct answer, wrong. I just got a riddle. Hurry, Grandma, read it. What can clap with no hands? Clap with no hands? You're behind. No. I can only live if there's light, but I die if a light shines on me. A shadow, a shadow. Correct answer, a shadow. <sighs> Bye, Mom, I'm off to school. Sissy, I got a riddle. Hurry, read it to me. What can run but can't walk? A turkey? No, don't say turkey. Final answer. It's a river. It's a river. Are you sure? I think so. A river. Correct answer. A river. Oh no. I just got a riddle. Hurry, read it out loud. We can all help you. What has 21 eyes but can't see? 21 eyes but can't see. Come on, give him suggestions. I don't know. I know the answer. It's 10 and a half blind people. Incorrect. Correct answer. A dice. Oh no, I got another riddle. Harry had a little lamb. Emily, little... stop singing. Where did you learn to sing? I don't know, I just heard it on the TV. You only sing when you want to kill someone. They play that on the TV because they want you to sing, but you can't, okay? Okay. Honey, are you off to school now? Yeah, I am. You forgot to wear your earplugs. You must always keep them on while you're in public. Do I have to wear them? It's for your protection. You never know when someone could start singing. Hey, girl. Hey. Ouch. Now I got your attention. What? Keep out those earplugs. I want to talk to you. My mom makes me wear them. She says you never know when someone could start singing. Come on, hand them over. We're at school. No one would start singing here. Ring around the rosies. A pocket full of... Help! Oh. Bring around the rosies, a pocket full of hope. Rosies, ashes. Here's your earplugs back. I was wrong. You might actually need them. I saw someone die. Was it just him or were there others? There were three others who didn't cover their ears in time. Hey, they canceled school for the day. Go home and get some rest. Mom, I'm home. Mary had a little lamb. Emily, little stop lamb. singing.
Emily, why are you singing? I told you not to. It kills people. Mom! Mom, there's something wrong with Emily. She won't stop singing. She's going to kill someone. Mary had a little lamb. Why are you singing? Little lamb. I need to get out of here. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Rock, goodbye, babe. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Rock, goodbye, baby. Why is everyone singing? Attention all citizens. Singing has now become contagious. You must wear earplugs at all times to stop the spread. Mary had a little lamb. Rock goodbye, baby, on the treetops. Ashes, ashes. Everyone's singing. Hey, take out your earplugs. What? It's just me and you. It's just us? Yes. Okay. Ring around the rosies. Ring around the rosies. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, man. Ha. Rock, beat, scissors. Round two. Rock, rock paper, scissors. scissors. Rock wins. Ah. Rock, paper. No, 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 no. What? I'm not playing the third round. Come on, one of us will win a million dollars. Yeah, but one of us will die. That's a risk I'm willing to take. I'm not. Hello? The results came in. I have cancer. What? Treatment's going to be very expensive, and I'm too sick to work. We're going to lose our house soon. I don't know how we'll live. Mom, don't worry about a thing. I'll get us all the money we need. Derek. Let's play rock, paper, scissors. If we tie the first two rounds, I'll play the third round with you. Rock, rock paper, paper scissors. scissors. I win. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors. Paper beats rock. Last round. Rock, rock paper, rock, paper, scissors. scissors. We both chose paper. We'll have to play again? How about we split the money? No way. I'm not splitting the money. I want the million all for myself. Derek. I don't want to die, and I don't want to see you die. I'm not splitting. Rock, paper, scissors. There's no way. Scissors beats paper. You cheated. You're a cheater. I didn't cheat. Come with me, Derek. We're taking you to be executed. Oh, she didn't win fairly. She cheated. Did you hear? She killed Derek for a million dollars. I didn't kill Derek. We played a game we both agreed to, and I won. There she is. I've been looking for you everywhere. Ma'am, is everything okay? I'm Derek's mother. I want to avenge my son. We're playing rock, paper, scissors till the third round. Okay, I'll play with you. Rock, paper... paper. Wait, stop the game! Rasabeth, they're looking for a new king and queen of hearts. Really? The first ones to break a hundred hearts will become the next ones. Do you think you can do it? I know I can. Happy heartbreaking. I'd love to go out sometime. Can I have your heart? Yeah, sure. Hey! Sorry. You broke my heart. I didn't mean to break it. I didn't know we weren't exclusive. I told you. Sorry. Did you hear there's a new guy? Really? Yeah. Well, lucky him. I only need to break one more heart. So you're the new kid. I am. Why? You want to go out sometime? Sure. Great. Tonight? I'll pick you up at eight. So, did you break his heart yet? Not yet. What are you waiting for? You always break them so quick. He's the last one, so might as well have fun with it, right? I would just want to get it over with. <laughs> so, could I have your heart? Only if I can have yours. You got his heart? Yeah. Why haven't you broken it yet? I'm just waiting for the right time. People are catching up to you. Sarah's almost broken a hundred hearts. You have to break it quick. I will. Hey babe, happy Valentine's Day. Can I take you out tonight? Sure. Great. I'll pick you up at 8. Do you think Lucas is going to be the next king? What are you talking about? I heard he only has one more heart to break. I heard he's trying to break yours tonight. Really? Yeah, I've been telling you. Hurry up and break his heart. Thanks for the heads up. I don't understand. You texted me you were going to meet me there and then you never showed. I wanted to make sure I completely devoured your heart. Well, it looks like I still get to be the king because you broke your own heart too. Happy ruling, my queen. Erasabeth and Lucas, our new king and queen of hearts. Any words, Erasabeth? Off with his head. Valentine's Day is coming up, and it's utterly disgusting. <laughs> but it's also the biggest deheading day of the year. 
So guards, are you ready? Erasmith, are you sure you don't want us to find you a Valentine this year? No. I've never been in love, and I don't plan to be. What are you looking at? Just a photograph of me and the king, before he showed his true colors. He was better off deheaded anyways. What did you want? You have an invitation to dinner tonight. You've got to be kidding me. The poor soul. He's a secret admirer, and he's came a long way to see you. Table for two. He's already arrived. I'll take you there. Thank you. Wow, you look great. How are you still alive? I thought I got rid of you years ago. Have a seat. Please. You didn't actually think you deheaded me, did you? I did. After you attempted to dehead me, they sent you to rule Wonderland, while I got to stay and rule Earth. But Wonderland isn't what you think it is. You are ruling in a sane asylum, and I want to bring you back to Earth. I think you've spent enough time here. Please, Elizabeth. In the last 15 years, I haven't stopped thinking about you. You're lying. I'm not lying. Look around. Everyone's mad here, but you don't have to be mad anymore. Come back with Wonderland is my home. They can't live without me. It's not real. It's in your head. It's not in my head. There's the Mad Hatter and the White Rabbit and all the guards. They're other patients. They don't actually work for you. You're all mad. But you don't have to be. Come back to Earth. I'll help you get stable. Just try it for one day. Fine. Take me back. Okay. See, you remember this place. It's not as pretty here. Wonderland's beautiful. Because you've made it up. Here, come with me. This is where we had our first date. Remember? Tell me, have you thought about me since leaving? Every day. I haven't stopped thinking about you. Me neither. Look, I know we've both been through a lot, and I'm sorry for how I treated you back then. I was more worried about royalty than your feelings. Do you forgive me? I do. Thank God. Do you forgive me? I do. Could I kiss you? Are you okay? What's wrong? None of that was real. Wonderland? No, it wasn't. I've been just locked away for fifteen years. But you're back now, and there's no one else I would rather have by my side. So, my queen. Are you ready to rule Earth with me? You can have my heart. What do you say? Are you ready? Ready. Come here, little girl. Come here. Come here. Here, put these noise blockers on immediately. Let's get out of here. <coughs> Honey, listen. If someone's whispering, you need to run the other way immediately. Whispering is only used to kill people. Got it? Okay. Hey, Brianna. Hey, Jake. You look so beautiful. You look so beautiful, so beautiful, so beautiful, so... Hey, Bestie, there's something going on with Jake. He was whispering earlier. He tried to kill me. What? Brianna, for your own safety, I wouldn't mention this again. Come and see me after class. What did you need to see me for, Miss Applewood? You're not supposed to mention things people don't want to hear about. Don't mention... <sighs> Brianna, Brianna, Stop, Brianna. stop. Who's Brianna. whispering? No one's whispering. Brianna. I think she's infected with whispers. You're infected with whispers. What does that mean? You'll keep hearing whispers in your head. Then they'll take over. Then you'll start whispering. Then you'll die. No, no, I can't die. There has to be a cure. There's no cure. Only one person has ever survived from it. We have to find the person who survived. Brianna, stop, Brianna, stop. Brianna, Brianna. Whispers are all I can hear. Did you find the name of the person who survived? I'm looking. What are you doing? You're infected with whispers. I have to kill you before you start whispering and you start killing everyone. No, please don't. I promise. I can find a cure. No, there is no cure. Well, I have to try. You can't hide oh, from no, me. No, no, you no. can't hide. Brianna, are you okay? The whispers are taking over. The whispers are taking over. You need to stop whispering. You have to try and fight it. I'm trying. The whispers are taking over. The whispers are taking over. You need to fight it. I can't. Here's your soulmate candy cane. Mm. No, don't eat it. You need it to find your soulmate. Only your soulmate's candy cane will match with yours, making a heart. But every year, you'll only be given the candy cane for the month of December. So I only get one month to find my soulmate every year? Yes, so you better get looking. 
Hi, Bree. Dimi, let me see your candy cane. Let's see if we're soulmates. Does it match? No, too big. You broke my candy cane. It's finally the month of December. It's time to look for our soulmates. This year is going to be the year I find my soulmate. I just know it. Jake, let me see your candy cane. Is it a match? It's too small. Uh, size doesn't matter. In this case, it does. What? It's December 31st already, and I still haven't found anyone that matches my candy cane. Hey, Brie. I'm having a New Year's party. Everyone's invited. Want to come through? New Year's party. That's a perfect place to meet your soulmate. Here's a drink. Time to party. No time for chit-chat. I need to find who matches my candy cane. Kevin, can I see your candy cane? Let's see if we're soulmates. I ate mine by mistake. Brianna, do you want a drink? Let me see your candy cane. I'm gonna have to pass on that drink. Can you at least try to enjoy the party? I've tried everyone here. No one matches my candy cane. Attention everyone, the new year is in one minute. It's almost January 1st. That means I haven't found my soulmate this year again. You've made this entire night about you and finding your soulmate. You completely wasted my New Year's Eve. You're right, I'm sorry. So you never found your soulmate? Nope, I never did. But I realized there's more to life than finding your soulmate. Are you telling stories again? My best friend never found her soulmate either. Yep, I still have my candy cane.
Vandaag gaan een goede dag wees. Wacht, hoe kom praat ik hier die vreemde taal? Mama? Mama, alsjeblieft help. Ik praat hier die vreemde taal en ik weet niet hoe kom nie. Honey, that's your soulmate's language. My zielsgenootse taal? Yes, and you'll only be able to speak English again once you meet him. Wonderlijk. Ik is geskroef. Hey Giselle. Goeiemorgen Jessica. Why are you speaking Afrikaans? Dus niet mijn schuld niet. Mijn ziel is genoeg voor die taal. Girl, you're gonna struggle to find him. Ja, dat is wat ik ook gedink het. Kom, ons moet klaas toe. Giselle, can you give me the answer to number 7? Um, ja, ik heb gekregen 69. I'm afraid I don't understand. By the way, class, we're getting a new student today. He's an exchange student from South Africa, so please be nice. Giselle, can you give me the answer to number 7? Um, ja, ik heb gekregen 69. I'm afraid I don't understand. By the way, class, we're getting a new student today. He's an exchange student from South Africa, so please be nice. Girl, did you see the new guy? Isn't he so cute? Ja, ik weet. En weet je van waar of is hij? Ja, yeah, he's from South Africa. En wat praat hij in Zuid-Afrika? They speak Afrikaans. Wait, that means he's your... Yep. In ons het winner. Giselle, this literally means the new kid is your soulmate. Ja, jij het uiteindelijk twee keer met elkaar gezet. You have to go talk to him. Is jy mal? Ek gaan nie met hom praat nie, ek is te sien of jy achtig. You're gonna have to get over it because he's on his way here. Hey, um, I'm Michael. Giselle, this literally means the new kid is your soulmate. Ja, jij het uiteindelijk twee keer met elkaar gezet. You have to go talk to him. Is jy mal? Ik ga niet met hem praten, ik is te zien of je achtig. Well, you're gonna have to get over it because he's on his way here. Hey, I'm Michael. And you are? Oh, you can't speak? No, she can... No, apparently she can't. Girl, I can't believe you just did that. Wat anders moest ik doen? Ik is te bang om met hem te praten. Well, if you don't talk to him, you're never gonna be able to speak English again. Ja, ik weet. If you don't go talk to him today, I'm gonna tell him you were lying. Alright, alright. Ik zal met hem praat. Good choice. Hallo, um, jij hebt gezien, naam is Michael. Wait, you're speaking Afrikaans? That means you're my. Hallo, um, jij hebt gezien, naam is Michael. Wait, you're speaking Afrikaans. That must mean you're my. Jouw zielsgenoot? Exactly, but. Why are you still speaking Afrikaans and I'm still speaking English? Now that you're the noom, ja, dit is nog als vreemd. Ik wonder hoe kom praat ik nog steeds Afrikaans en jij nog steeds Engels. I don't know, but it's really weird. Ik ga gaan probeer uitvind. Jessica, kan ik gaan met jou praat? Yeah, girl, what's up? Okay, ik heb met Michael gepraat, maar ik praat nog steeds Afrikaans. Giselle, that just means he's not your soulmate. Wie anders is dit dan? Ek ken niemand anders wat Afrikaans is nie. Did you know that Michael has a brother? Wacht wat? Het hy een boete? Ja, yeah, I just met him this morning. Jessica, kan ek gaan met jou praat? Ja, yeah, girl, what's up? Oké, okay, so, ek het met Michael gepraat, maar ek praat nog steeds Afrikaans. Giselle, that just means he's not your soulmate. Wel, as dit nie hy is nie, wie is dit dan? Ek ken niemand anders wat Afrikaans praat nie. Well, did you know Michael has a brother? Wacht, wat? Het hy een boete? Ja, yeah, I just met him this morning. Denk jy, dis talk hy? There's one way you could find out. Oké, okay, waar kan ek hom kry? I think he's in the cafeteria. Oké, okay, ek gaan met hom gaan praat. Giselle, there you are. I've been looking for you. Michael, hallo. Um, ek soek eindelijk jou boete. Ek moet met hom praat. Why do you want to speak with my brother? Ek wil jou nie seer maak nie, maar ek denk jou boete is talk my seels genoot. That's impossible. It's me. Hey, I'm Jake. I'm Michael's brother. Hi, I'm Giselle. Here's your lunch. Thank 
You? What is this? Hurry now, you don't want to be late for school. Mom, you've kissed that many people? Excuse me? Gross. Hey, Bestie. Hey. No way. You haven't had your first kiss yet? What are you talking about? I've definitely had my first kiss. Come on, it's me. You can tell me the truth. I am telling the truth. I've kissed like six guys. Okay. I believe you. I'm telling the truth. Hey, baby. Babe. Fifteen? Ooh, well, as long as they were before he met me, I guess. Good morning, baby. I got you flowers. You're so sweet. Thank you. Anything for you. Is everything okay? What's wrong? Oh, nothing. I'll see you later, okay? Love you. Bestie, I really need to talk to you about something. You see, my boyfriend... No way. Bestie, you've had your first kiss? I already told you, I had my first kiss a long time ago. I've kissed tons of guys. Why do you keep lying to me? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so crazy. Isn't it? Hey, do you know where Brianna is? She's been avoiding me all day. No clue. Bestie, could you be honest with me for once? Did you kiss my boyfriend? Because I saw that your kiss count went up and his kiss count went up. First of all, how do you know our kiss counts? And no, I didn't kiss your boyfriend. I don't even like men. That's why I've been lying, saying I've kissed a bunch of guys. I was nervous about coming out, and I didn't want to tell you this way. I'm so sorry. I just wanted to know who my boyfriend cheated on me with. Good morning, Mom. I spy with my little eye my mom. Here, take your vision-blocking glasses. I spy with my little eye these vision-blocking glasses. Wear them as much as you can, so you don't have to say I spy all the time. I barely take mine off. I spy with my little eye the ground. I spy with my little eye the bush. I spy with my little eye the bus! Class, can anyone tell me why the earth is flat? My eyes are so itchy. My glasses, where'd they go? Timmy, say I spy! I spy with... I spy with my little eye a beautiful girl named Brianna. Chad, is that you? Of course it's me. Take off your glasses so I can see your beautiful eyes. I... I don't know. It's not really safe. Come on, Brianna. I just want to see your eyes. You know you can trust me. Okay. Give me those. Take off your glasses so I can see your beautiful eyes. I don't know. It's not really safe. Come on, Brianna. I just want to see your eyes. You know you can trust me. Okay. Give me those. I spy with my little eye, Chad. Give me back my glasses. No way. I lost mine. Catch me if you can. I spy with my little eye, the wall. I spy with my little eye, Chad. I spy with my little eye, my vision-blocking glasses. Hey, give them back. No, they're mine. And if you have your eyes open, you need to say I spy. I spy with my little... Chad? Chad? Attention everyone. For population control, you may no longer wear your vision blocking glasses or keep your eyes closed for an extended period of time. Anyone who breaks these rules will be killed. I spy with my little eye. You make a wish. How many years did it give you? Ten. She has to get married at 17. She won't even be an adult. Don't worry, my dear. We'll find her a good prince to marry. Besides, she doesn't seem like she's going to be the picky type. <laughs> Your 17th birthday is in one week, and you still have not chosen a prince to marry. That's because princes are stuck up, and all they care about is money and power. Maria, that's not true. Not all princes are like that. Well, Mother said that when I find the right guy, my day's laugh will turn from red to green. That is a myth, princess. And you are running out of time. But luckily, I'm available. I think I'd rather die, Jay. You will if you don't choose someone. I am not going to let that happen. If you don't pick someone in the next few days to marry, I will have no choice but to have you married to Jay. What? No. My word is final, Maria. Princess Maria, there's someone here to see you. Excuse me, Princess. My name is Prince Adam. Well, hello, Prince Adam. Oh my gosh, he is so hot. Could the prince and I please get some privacy? Oh, yes, of course. Sorry about that. No worries, princess. So, I'm guessing my father sent you up here? Well, you seem like a very nice guy. And I would like to get to know you, but I just wish that I wasn't being forced to marry someone right now. I completely understand. That is why I want to help you. Help me? Yes. Have you heard of the legend of the Wishing Rock? 
Yes, my mother used to tell me stories of it all the time. I want to find it for you, so you may wish to be married whenever you please. You... you would do that? Of course. This system isn't fair, and I want to make you happy. I will be back with your wishing lock in three days' time. Thank you. You... you don't know how much this means to me. Princess, I'm back. Unfortunately, I could not find the rock. I think we should get married instead. But what about the system not being fair? You said you were going to help me. You're not Prince Adam, are you? Of course it is me, Princess. Who else would it be? I'm telling you, Father, that isn't him. No, you're just saying that because you don't want to get married. You didn't want to marry Jay, so I found you this nice prince. I know, but my day's left turned back to red, and remember Mother said- Your mother is gone, and I will not lose you too over your stubbornness to settle on a man. You and Adam are to be married tomorrow at sunset. You can't do that. Don't insult my authority, Maria. My word is always final. Why the sad face, princess? Leave me alone, Jay. Perhaps you'd rather talk to Prince Adam. Better? How did you? I stole the wishing rock. And if you don't do exactly as I say, you will never see Prince Adam again. Too bad this rock can't make people fall in love. It also can't bring people back from the dead either. Such a shame. I really did like your mother. Where is Adam? He'll be fine as long as you cooperate. Guards! I wish for her to fall asleep until tomorrow. Now to take care of your father. Wake up, princess. Time to get ready. You look gorgeous. I've waited for this day for so long. Maria. Adam? How did you... I escaped. Hurry. We don't have much time before they notice. Jay has taken control of everyone, and he's going to execute your father. What? Don't worry. I have a plan. What is it you wanted to do before our wedding, Maria? This. Oh! Now, Adam. Oh! Make your wish. I wish that I... I wish that all princesses could be married whenever they please. Are you alright? I think so. Hey, you have infinite time now. I do? Yes, look. Oh my gosh, I do. Adam, you're amazing. Thank you, but I couldn't have done this without your help as well. Wait, what about my father? Quick, use the wishing rock. I wish my father was in this room. Maria! Oh my god, you were right about Jay. You were right about everything. I should have never yelled at you hey, like that. Hey, it's okay. Everything's all right now. I'm free. Your time, it's infinite. You used the wishing rock? Oh, Maria, come here. I'm so sorry for everything. So, what will you do with the rock? I'm going to lock it away, somewhere safe. This much power isn't good for anyone. I guess I should be going, princess. Oh, or, you know, you could stay if... If you like. Uh, yes, I would love that. I'm just so happy you're okay, princess. My best friend controls my bank account or my hand? Yeah, I don't need her making me go broke. She's out of town, so I wonder how this is gonna work. Incoming, Paul. Oh, it's her. Hey. Girl, I can see and hear everything you do. You can? Yeah, this is so weird. Don't worry, I won't make you do anything bad. You may now begin your test. What are you doing? I swear, I'm not trying to do this. Maya, why would you do something like that? Revenge? For what? You need to see this. What is this? A picture of you and Maya's boyfriend, and it looks like you're holding hands. What? Yeah, it's been sent out to the whole school. Maya, I swear, this isn't what it looks like. I can't believe her. I'm gonna make her week a living hell. Maya, listen, I wasn't cheating with your boyfriend. I was just... Mm. I don't want to hear her excuses. I saw the photo. They were clearly holding hands. Are you okay? Mm. No, my best friend is controlling my hand today, and she's super mad at me. Dang, it sucks to be you. <laughs> yeah, can't say I disagree. Maya, if you would just let me explain... Excuse me, you need to pay attention. I take Jim very seriously. Of course, uh, so do I, coach. Are you mocking me, Miss Missouri? No, sir. Oh, you think you're funny, huh? Go run five laps. No, but I... Uh-uh-uh, don't want to hear it. Let's go. <sighs> oh, man. Oh, my gosh, I'm so thirsty. Here, you can have my water. Oh, thank you. Thanks again for the water. No problem. <gasps> what the... 
<laughs> That's what you get for being a bad friend. Maya, all week you've been causing me trouble, and any time I try and explain what happened with your boyfriend, you... Mm. You do that. I don't care what you have to say anymore. I can't trust you. Oh, and I see her crush is coming near. Oh, no, Nate. Maya, please, I'm begging you, don't... Hey, uh, how are you doing? Good. Great, actually. Sweet. Well, you know, prom's coming up, right? Yeah. I was wondering if you... <laughs> Nate? She just knocked out Nate. No, no, I would never. My friend is controlling my hand. Principal's office now. Listen, this is all just a big misunderstanding. Great, they put handcuffs on her. Now I can't control her hand. What do you mean she's your sign language instructor? Wait, so that's why she was touching your hand? Why didn't you call me sooner? She's about to get arrested. Take her downtown. No, please wait. Stop. I was controlling her officers. She's innocent. Did you finish your chores, darling? Yes. So did I. You know what that means. Twenty dollars. All right. Your first allowance. We want to teach you to work for your money. Mom? Dad? We wanted to take Bunny to the park for a bit. Sure. Just be careful. We will. Peekaboo. <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot of fire trucks. I just got ten million in my bank account. I was just gonna say. Yeah, so did I. We need to go home. Something's wrong. No. What happened? What does it look like? Your house burnt down. But what about our parents? Your parents didn't make it. I'm sorry. Mama. Someone's gonna take you in. Who? A distant relative. Your aunt, Octavia. Hello, children. What a pleasure it is to meet you. Uh, hi? Such a shame what happened. I'm just so glad your money is safe. I mean, you're safe. <laughs> ah. Please, put those down. Chill, I'm not gonna use this on you. Wait, uh, what are you doing? Look, I had to. Just, here, take these scissors and come with me. I need to show you something. We can't just leave that girl like that. Yeah, we can. Now, do you see that guy over there? Yeah. He only has one task left. You have to take him out. What? No. You have to. No, I'm not- Hey, sorry to do this to you, but I only got one task left, and it's a really bad one. <laughs> I knew you had it in you. Come on, we should go. I can't believe I just did that. Um, Lauren? Why does my next task say for me to kill somebody, but it's already checked off? I don't think that guy made it. I don't feel so good. Hey, listen, you have to complete everything. What is it safe for you to do next? We have to save the girl that you hurt. Look at me. If we're gonna go save her, you need this. You came back. Yeah, I'm gonna save you, okay? How? The school's on lockdown until someone wins the game. <sighs> Wait, I have an idea. The nurse's office, it has tons of medical supplies. I'm gonna go get some. All right, but like, be careful. I will. I grabbed a bunch of stuff, and luckily for you, I know how to do stitches. Okay, you should be feeling a lot better now. Yeah, thanks. I only have one more left. So do I. What are you doing? You're like not that smart. My last task was to betray someone. That's why you helped me. Wow, look who's catching on. Anyways, sorry about this. No! Wait, what do you say we make a deal? I'm listening. My last task is to make sure you don't win the game. So if you drop that weapon right now, I'll win and we can split the cash 50-50. Huh, I mean, I would like to end this craziness. So what do you say? I'll take the deal. Be careful, I don't trust her. Here's your last hundred. Thank you. But I decided I want all the money. Here you go. Happy birthday. A poppet, really? How old do you guys think I am? Six? Stop complaining. You're lucky you got something. Thanks, guys, for my new bike. It's not even her birthday. So what? It doesn't matter. Don't be so spoiled. Yeah. This sucks. Congratulations, you completed the pink row. Power unlocked. I think I've officially lost it. Uh, I want my water bottle, but it's so far away. What? So this is real, and I actually have telekinesis? Hmm. Hey, loser, come watch me play with my toy. Okay. Look, it's flying! No! Oh, no! Let's see what power the second row will give me. You have completed the second pink row. New power unlocked. This is gonna be interesting. 
<laughs> Jeez, do you knock? Mom wants you to wash the dog, weirdo. <laughs> okay, little bud, it's time for a bath. No, no, absolutely not. I will not take a bath. Yeah, this is gonna take some getting used to. I'm sorry, Fluffy, but I got to. You, you really smell. Says you. See, now don't you feel so much better? No, but I do now. Hey, go check on your pets. Okay. <laughs> guys, guys, freak it up. Tell your dumb cat that baths are not good. Yes, they are. Look, I'll even prove it to you. No, Chubbs, wait. <laughs> Let's hope this next power is better than last time. You have completed the yellow row. New power unlocked. No, that's what I'm talking about. Can I have that? No. Aw, oh, come on. Just give it to me. Let go. What the? You're not the boss of me. Really? Okay. Go get me an iced tea. Right now. Okay. Why, thank you. <laughs> what? Why did I do that? Cuz I'm the boss. Honey, take out the trash. Um, no. Tell Dad to do it. Bob, take out the trash. Ugh. Watch it, Klutz. <laughs> oh, you really shouldn't have done that. Oh, really? Why not? Do you ever hear of the saying, what goes around comes around? What is she talking about? Why don't you show us your dancing? What? I can't dance. Oh, no, you're just being modest. Dance. <laughs> Darling, did your creature name appear yet? No, not yet, but obviously it's gonna say vampire since you and Dad are both vampires. Well, actually... You're not our biological child. What? So I'm adopted? Yes, we found you abandoned by the ocean. I don't understand. If I'm not a vampire, then what am I? Well, we think you might be... I'm a mermaid? Why would you keep this a secret from me? We had a very good reason. Mermaids are extinct. You are the last of your kind. Guys, this shell just appeared on me. <gasps> the mermaid's mark. Cover it with your hair. Can't we just use makeup? No, darling. Makeup will not work. Let's hope the kids at Creature High will not notice your mark. Welcome to Creature High. Today, we'll be pairing up for a quiz. A quiz on the first day? No wonder they call her Miss Cruel. <laughs> <clears throat> Quiet. You two think you're so funny? Well, pair up together then. So, what creature are you? I'm a vampire. Sweet, me too. But my fangs haven't come in yet. <laughs> Mine either. I'm Draculogan. I'm Andrina. Okay, true or false? A mermaid will transform after getting her mark. Transform? Yeah, I mean, they gotta grow a tail at some point, right? I'm putting true. Hey, help us, please. Can you hear that? Hear what? Only you can hear us. Please let us out of this tank. Don't worry, I will. Adrina, were you talking to the... What is that mark? So your teacher saw your mark? Yeah. Well, what did you say? I told her that it was fake, but now everyone in my class thinks that I'm weird. Darling, your hair. She is starting to transform. Am I gonna grow a tail too? Yes, eventually. I think I have something that can help. Here, drink this. What is this? A potion that will turn you back to normal. There's nothing in here. It is invisible potion. Drink it, please. Yes, it worked. But is it supposed to make you feel sick? Unfortunately, that is a side effect. If you feel yourself transform again, take a sip of the potion. Hey, Dracky Logan. Sup, Adrina? And you can just call me Logan. Did you dye your hair, though? Oh no, I have to drink my potion. What? What is going on? Listen, if I tell you a secret, do you promise to keep it? I promise. You're a mermaid? Shh. Sorry, but, uh, can I see that potion? Adrina, this is- Layla, where are you? You're supposed to be my backup. Layla! She just put in the chat that she's out of speaking time. And we just lost. Your mother requests to see you. Guys, I gotta head off. See you later, rich girl. Must be nice to have a butler. Shut up. Tell her I'll be right there. Bye. Darling, meet my new boyfriend. What's up? Mom, can I speak to you alone for a minute? Okay, I'll be right back, babe. Mom, he is like 25. You realize that you're 40 now, right? So? Age is just a number and he makes me happy. Don't you want me to be happy? Yeah, man, she's hot and loaded. Nah, she doesn't even know about my secret. 
Dude, her daughter's kind of hot, too. I'm just in this for the money, though. Shit, you scared me. Wait, how long have you been standing out here? Hey, hold on. Mom, your boyfriend is a... Aw, you're out of speaking time, honey. I thought you had an hour left. Guess there was a glitch. Honey, enough charades. I don't understand. Well, that was weird. <gasps> Young lady, what is wrong with you? I'm so sorry, babe. Go to your room. You seem stressed. Here, take your squishy. You know, you could use your phone to communicate. She's not picking up? They did leave saying they wanted alone time. <sighs> yes, oh, he is so busted. Mom, there's something I need... I have to take a phone call, excuse me. Don't worry, I'll keep her company. You stay out of my way. This is your final warning. You have no idea what I'm capable of. Her boyfriend's controlling your speaking time? Yeah, I mean, it's the only thing that makes sense. <clears throat> the boyfriend has left. Time for me to expose him. Hi, Mom. I see your boyfriend isn't around. He went to go get me coffee. Isn't that sweet? No, actually not sweet, because he has a big secret, and one of them is that he's been stealing my speaking time. Hey, I'm back. No, watch, Mom. My speaking time is just gonna magically disappear now. What? Seems fine to me, honey. Okay, fine. If I saw my voice, then I'm gonna use it. I heard you saying that you had a secret. A secret? Oh, boy. I wanted this to be a surprise, but oh well. Evelyn, will you make me the happiest man alive and marry me? Babe, yes! <laughs> I cannot let her marry him. Hey, what is this? This is how he's been controlling my speaking time. Give me that! I warned you! Come here! Your plan to expose me didn't work. Your mom and I are gonna get married today in Las Vegas. Babe, where are you? Coming, sweetheart. Sadie, there you are. I had a feeling you might be in need of some help. There we go. Are you quite all right, Miss Sadie? Here you are. I took this off of Mr. Blake. Shall I get us a cab for Las Vegas? Oh, yeah. I now pronounce you husband. Stop the wedding. Your fiancé, Blake, is a psychotic little gold digger. Babe, I thought she was sick. No, Mom. He locked me in my makeup room. What? She's lying. I saw her myself, and he's also been stealing her speaking time. I have not. How could he do that? With this. Hey! You give that back, you little... I think you've said enough. You jerk! That's for messing with my daughter. Ugh. And that's for taking my speaking time.